Hey Audacious Church, how good is this? We are coming back to church. And what I'm going to do for the next few minutes is just give you a little bit of a walkthrough, a bit of a guide on exactly what to expect so that when you come to church, you're going to have the time of your life. All right, let's go. Okay, first thing you need to know is that when you come in your car and park at church, there's specific places for you to park. If you come into the 10 o'clock service, then you will be led, hosted, guided to park in this front car park here in front of the building. But if you're coming to the 12 o'clock service, then we're gonna ask you to park through those gates over there in the Diva Center. Don't worry, there'll be people out here pointing you in the right direction. So just make sure you look at them and do what they say and parking will be a breeze. Second thing for you to remember and to know is that we need you to arrive to church early. I know this is groundbreaking, but we need you to arrive at least 30 minutes early so that you can get through all the stuff that we need to do and be safe and have a great time at church. So arrive early and park where you're told to park or where you're asked to park. And also, let me just point out, all through the building at different points, we have some sanitation stations in the nations. Com. And so uh, you can make use of those, get some hand gel, make sure you keep yourself sanitized. And also, one last thing before you go into the building is that everybody at Audacious Church is going to be wearing one of these face masks. There you go. So that's what you need to do. Bring a face mask with you. This is mine. Don't worry if you haven't got one or you get halfway here and you forgot because we're going to provide one for you. And so you can take a mask, one of our masks, you can't tell, but I'm really smiling under here. I'm going to take it off so that you can actually hear what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, so we'll be wearing masks. All right, I think that's it. I think we're ready to go into the building. Let's do it. Okay, so a bit different when you walk into the building because right away you can see that with all the social distancing measures, etc., we have a one-way queuing system. And so what you're going to do is you're going to walk in and you're essentially going to join the queue that goes around underneath the mez floor over to there. I'm going to do it now and uh, just give you an idea of where it goes. There's no people in it now and there will be when you come and you'll be one of them. All right, so you made it. We are at the front of the queue. We're next in line for the throne. And uh, when you get to this point here, after a short wait, one of our hosts will take you over to the hub so that you can register for this service. Come on, let's go and check it out. Here we are in the hub. Most of the questions that you need to have answered, you will have already answered when you book your ticket. So here really is just a chance for you to show your ticket, maybe one or two questions just to get things started. And also, if you're here for the first time, you're a guest with us at Audacious Church, we have got a gift for you. And it's at this point where they'll give you a gift. In that bag, our welcome bag, there's all sorts of information about the church. Uh, and really, it's a chance for you to get to know us a little bit. And hopefully, we can get to know you as well. But that's especially for you. So you show your ticket, you'll get your gift bag if you're here for the first time. And then we'll go through the hub over here, where we'll be greeted by another host and we'll, they'll take us straight into the main auditorium. All right. Let's go into the auditorium and I'll show you a few bits of change, a few differences uh, before we get into the service. Let's go. All right, here we are. We're in the auditorium. One of the hosts will lead you to your seats and you can sit down just to reassure you and let you know that there will be a minimum two seat gap between you and anyone else that's not from your household, okay? So you can sit with your family, uh, the people that you live with, but then we're gonna make sure that we've got adequate space. You can see the rows are spaced as well. And so we're gonna get as many people in as we can, but doing our best to make sure everyone is safe as well. So we're here in the auditorium. I'm gonna stand up uh, and I wanna tell you five differences that you can expect once you're in the auditorium and the service actually starts, okay? Number one, the government are still saying because of the restrictions that, they're, they're, that we're not allowed to sing, okay? But what they're not saying is that you're not allowed to worship. So when you're in the auditorium, just like you've been watching online, 
for recent weeks. The worship team will be up there on the screen and you can clap, you can dance a jig, you can bounce, you can do whatever to make sure that you're really engaging and entering into worship. At the moment, we're not singing, but everything else is up for grabs. We can do it, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is that in the most part, the service is remaining a contactless experience, just like it has been for you while you've been watching online. What that means is, is that we'll be using the QR codes that come up on the screen. Normally when you're watching at home, you can scan that code with your phone on the screen, but we'll be, uh, there'll be a QR code on your chair, and so you'll be able to interact in the service, just as you have been doing at home, but this time in the flesh, in the building. How cool is that? Just to let you know that Audacious Church service, services, they are a hug-free zone. Now, I know this is difficult. You're going to see some people that you've not seen for a long time. You're going to want to rugby tackle them to the ground. You're going to want to hug them and squeeze them. But at the moment, we're going to have to use some self-control and just know that it's not because they don't love you or everything's changed, but it's just because that's the rules at the moment. So it's a hug-free zone. Also, the fourth thing is that Audacious Kids, our amazing kids' church program, is remaining online. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to leave the kids at home. You can bring them with you, but they're gonna be sat with you here in the auditorium, in your family uh, bubble, and uh, you're gonna be experiencing church together. So we just wanted to make sure that you knew that Audacious Kids is online. And you can check that out whenever you want because it's on YouTube and you can still enjoy it. Your kids can still enjoy it. The other difference before we get into the service is uh, the toilets. The toilets are, of course, open, but you may have to queue. And so that's one of the reasons why we're saying for you to arrive early for, to church, because you may need to use the loo. Um, so that's that, five differences. And this is it, we'll start the service. Ah, there it is. Uh, just one last thing to tell you, and that is at the end of the service, we're gonna be having the congregation for the next service potentially coming in straight after you. And so we're gonna have some work to do to clean, deep clean, sanitize, get everything ready for the next uh, group of people that are coming in. So unfortunately that means there's no hangout time here in the building. We're gonna hold our nerve with that and we'll be able to do that soon. But for now, when the service finishes, we're asking everybody to be up and out, but we're not going out the same way we came in. We're going out through the fire exit over here because out there will be a queue of people waiting to get into the next service. So at the end of the service, make your way out through the fire door. You will have an awesome time in church. I'm praying and believing and as leaders, we're expecting for an amazing, amazing time in God's house. Thanks for doing all the stuff that you need to do to make sure that you can be here. We're glad you took the time and the effort to get a ticket and get up and get going and get down to Audacious Church building. We love you so much. I'm gonna go out the appropriate exit. <laughs> 